Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Simulation Junkies Pickup Video Series. Today we have some diecast, we have some media, and we also have some NASCAR literature. So sit right back and let's go. Today is June 30th, 2018. Dale Earnhardt Jr., Bud, DEI car from 2004, the World Series car. Sometimes you have to bundle cars up to get them for the right price. Um, was not interested in this Ferrari Testarossa, um, but I was interested in this Matchbox Rebel Rouser. Whenever I see orange in the dump bin, I immediately think the General Lee. But I did find the Dixie Challenger, sporting that 426 Hemi. And I was able to find this Pepsi Long Neck, celebrating his 1,000th career start. June 15th, 1986. Uh, just so you young fellas know out there, Pepsi was very popular in the 80s. Uh, however, in the 80s, glass bottles were not the norm. Okay, uh, Back then, Pepsi even found a way to find a collectible in this market. But good for the king, good for Pepsi, good for NASCAR, great for our sport. And there it is. I found this Winston Cup 1992. Media um, yearbook. If you haven't seen these, these are really cool and they are a difficult collection to get the entire collection of. Uh, it's going to be a long haul, but I am committed to trying to do this. This is now my fifth book. I believe I have 1990, 91, now 92. And then 2001, 2002. So it's a great resource. It takes you through every single race, all the big stories, all the strategies, all the heartbreak, um, all the excitement. Right over here, we have a Jeff Gordon track support crew winner circle, um, and it is showcasing his bush car at the time. It has some crew members, a helicopter, some tires. It's got it all. Nice little piece here by Winter Circle. We have here a Mark Martin Hot Wheels. And this goes to some type of Hot Wheels track. Anybody out there knows the exact name of this track that it went to? There's a logo that says Hot Wheels. And then there's those two connectors. If you know the name of this particular Hot Wheels set, let me know. Bill Elliott. We have a Miami Dolphins. I believe the 03 represents the year, not a particular driver. And I'm sure that the NFL and NASCAR produced every single team of these. The name is very difficult to read. I'm going to guess Jeff Mus Musgrave, maybe. That sounds familiar. Hood and Decklid both open up. Uh, this story, I do remember these were in a dump bin. These were a quarter eat. You would wind it up and it would just take off your wrist. Get that out of hell. And then I found Daisy Duke Ertl G. This is a major upgrade to the one that I currently have. And when you collect petty cars, first of all, you know, when Richard was was really the king of NASCAR, they really didn't make die cast. And then all of a sudden, towards the end of his career, they started overproducing a lot of garbage. Um, and it really doesn't take long before you can get your hands on just about everything because they overproduced it. It's getting pretty hard for me at this point, and I was really psyched to find this one. Blaney number 77, David Blaney's. 77 Jasper. As you can see we have some doubles here that happen sometimes when you're hunting. Uh, we have a Bobby Labonte number 18 Interstate Batteries. We have a Super Fast MB number 5 from Matchbox. In really good condition. A lot of times you find these and the drivers are no longer in there. 43 Commemorative Lucky Charm Richard Petty Car. Already had that one already. And a Lightning Queen number 95 Rusties. So here we have a number 88 Dale Earnhardt Jr. Diet Mountain Dew. Mark Martin number 6 Test Car. 
another number 18, Bobby Labonte, and then his brother, number 5, Terry Labonte. It's unique uh, Kellogg's Corn Flakes. Actually winds up and goes. Die cast. And this, I have no idea what this is. This is a Jeff Gordon. It's a little bit bigger than 164 scale. It may be a remote control car. No antenna. No RC controller. But nonetheless, it's in really good shape. Featuring the Rainbow Warrior. Hendrick logo. Racing champions. Really nice shape. You know, a lot of times if you find these these pipes are broken off or missing or the wheels are missing. Found it Easy Riders Video Magazine uh, from 1992. Uh, celebrating the Sturgis trip to uh, Sturgis for Bike Week. Next I found a really minty fresh copy of NASCAR 98, the collector's edition. Uh, now the original collector's edition that I have actually has a keychain that was glued to the cover uh, and I believe on this one this is NASCAR 98 and I believe on this one you're allowed to race as Richard Petty and then I believe there's an extra track yes Darlington you can race at Darlington this is a power play Dodge games and cool stuff uh, I got some racing games on there what a pickup what a pickup guys World of Outlaws, for the Xbox 360, Sprint Cars. I've been looking for this game for about five to six years, and I refuse to pay eBay prices for this game. I walked into a thrift store and I almost died. They wanted $4 for it. I ended up paying $4.27 with tax. Right, so we picked up this video right here. Uh, Winston Cup, 2003 year in review. Originally sold for $24.95. Already have a copy of this. Still sealed. Now I picked this up on accident. I knew I had it, but the case just looked a little different. This is a double disc, and the one that I have is a double disc also. NASCAR Winston Cup 2002 year in review. And I checked it with mine, and the difference is this one on this two has rock videos. And on the one that I have has disc two preparation for Daytona. So at some point they repackaged these and sent them out. So I'm going to keep this one. And last but not least, we have a FedEx koozie holder. And it says FedEx Racing. Every day is race day. Oh, Denny Hamlin for you. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my latest pickup. Uh, this is the end of June now, so we still have two more months of garage sales and flea market finds. So, just want to say thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And I am going to have a 400 subscriber giveaway uh, contest to be announced real soon.